um, 1.75 milligrams injected no more than twice per week. So they set the, they drew the line in the sand at eight doses per month. Um, and that's probably due to pigmentation concerns um, because that is a, a side effect. You know, it's not perfectly clean. Anytime you're mm -hmm. acting on melanocortin, um, you can get some skin darkening. Um, and then along with came a new wave of um, either drugs being repurposed or drugs with all new FDA approvals altogether. Mm -hmm. uh, the first one here is uh, Vilezi or yep. Bremelanotide. So these are uh, working on the melanocortin pathway. There's various melanocortin receptors, and depending on which one you choose, whether it is Bremelanotide, which is Vilezi or PT141, or Set Melanotide, which is Mvicri um, for obesity, um, or whether it is uh, old school melanotan 2 or melanotan 1. And there's a whole bunch of other, um, both short and long acting melanocortin receptor agonists. But uh, this is the one that we were talking about when he said it was FDA approved for hypoactive sexual disorder, at least in females. Yeah, in females it is approved. Um, it is only available as an injection at your, if you go to your traditional commercial pharmacy. Um, 1.75 milligrams injected no more than twice per week. So they set the, they drew the line in the sand at eight doses per month. Um, and that's probably due to pigmentation concerns um, because that is a, a side effect. You know, it's not perfectly clean. Anytime you're mm -hmm. acting on melanocortin, um, you can get some skin darkening. There's a MC4R and there's a M. M1 one CR, M1 one CR. Those are the two significant yep. ones. They're also present in the gut, so you can get uh, nausea from this, um, and then of course in the skin as well. So I know that there's companies, and uh, perhaps uh, we may have uh, a scientist from one of those companies on to discuss these things at one point. Yeah, and there's no known mechanism yet, or it's incompletely understood as far as why activating these MCR receptors drive an improvement in libido. Um, the mm -hmm. story that I've heard told is as it relates to, you know, longer days and shorter days and uh, mating season and the animal kingdom. Mm -hmm. uh, and that's probably about as close as we'll get to an understanding for the time now. Uh, but how much, how much weight do you think that that theory has? Because it's really just a theory yet. I mean, I don't know how you could conclusively prove that. Yeah, um, perhaps some. There is some evidence that alpha melanocyte stimulating hormone, um, which is kind of one of the, I guess, endogenous analogs that works mm -hmm. on the melanocortin pathway, is one of those switches that kind of flips on the hypothalamus to release gonadotropin releasing hormone. Um, and when you're releasing gonadotropin releasing hormone, that's kind of like a, a mini ovulation. So perhaps that's one of the pathways. One of the other pathways is it can cause flushing of the skin. So if you think about flushing of the skin, um, Perhaps you're just directly leading to more fluid retention in tissues that might be touched or more sensitive. Vasodilation. Yep. Yeah. Whether it's clitoral tissue or penile tissue. So maybe that's another pathway. But yeah, at the end of the day, um, we just know that it works clinically. We don't know exactly where the, the most uh, strong mechanism is. Yeah. Yeah. And I think... The striking thing here, again, in, in, in all these studies, you basically see this is the placebo response. So uh, about 40% of women, so this was the metric we're looking at here is the sexual encounters that were satisfying in the percent of those. So placebo, it was around 40%. Yep. And then when you look That's... at the, depending on which study you look at, uh, around 50% up to 65% of those being satisfying. Yep. So you do see more. It's not perfect. It's not like 100%. It's not going to be magic for everyone. And there are non-responders to this. Sad to side effect wise, like you mentioned, the nausea seems to be the big one. Yeah, even stronger placebo effect than a lot of um, mood medications. In depression, anxiety, etc., you have a very strong placebo response as well. But yeah, not, not terrible. We mentioned the nausea. Um, depending on the medication you're talking about, um, Spontaneous erection can be a side effect. Theoretically, probably preopism, but it's not one that's listed. Yeah, including clitoral preopism because that mm -hmm. can happen as it's an extremely rare condition, yep. um, but it is a rare cause of female genital pain. Mm -hmm.